Okay, now I got one. You gonna talk about it with me? Yeah. We're gonna talk about spiritual stuff, like spiritual awakenings, um, astral projection, and um, what else? Crystals. What else? Talk about a new store, I guess. Oh, in my new store, okay. Well, let's wait till some people come on here, though. Well, no, we don't have to, because I'm going to put it on YouTube. Anyway. I don't know what I'll do. One person on there. Hi, one person. Come on here with me. No. So you just going to talk? Yes, right behind. I guess. You asked me to talk. Okay, off. you go come in. Do you know anything about it? No. Yes, you do. Okay, so are you interested in astro projection and spiritual she stuff and all that kind of is. stuff? So you know what it is and you ain't gonna try to talk about it? Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 No. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. This is hey, Kanita. Hey, Kanita. Well, Kanita, do you know about um spiritual awakenings? Because that's what we finna talk about and we finna talk about all the stuff that's going on right now. Not not the not the weird stuff with the world, but like the hey, real Kanita. stuff. She don't even know who, who's saying nothing because you ain't getting it. Jay Sean saying something. She know my name. That's my cousin. Dad, I'm probably talking fast. Huh? Nothing. My stomach hurts. So we had three people, but now we got two people. Okay, anyway, so I had my spiritual awakening. My brother kind of had his. I feel like if you know about it and you um interested in it and stuff like that, you probably did already start your journey. Uh, nothing. What you doing? Uh, me and Jay Sean just chilling. Somebody said what you doing? Kanika. Oh, and Naya. But Naya, she not coming in because she trying to braid her hair and she on the computer. Or she at school. I forgot people at school because I'm not at school. Shut up, Naya. It's my brother. Just, I, Say I, hi when you get on here so I can know who's on here because I want to ask questions too. Why are you looking at me like that? Who? I'm not looking at I'm looking at that. Mm. What? I'm going to wait a little bit so I can start where I want to start. Okay, first of all, I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all having a spiritual awakening or you feel like your life is falling apart completely, then you might want to listen to the things that I talk about and the things that like, I post about because I've been through the whole look, cycle and I'm still going through the cycle. I think it's a never ended thing. Once it starts, it can't stop. Why is y'all arguing in the That's back right. of my life? Right. And y'all know I'm going to post it on YouTube. I'm going to post this on YouTube, by the way. What? I always post my lives on YouTube. For real? Oh, yeah. yeah I did hear shit talking about it. Just what I heard it say. Okay, anyway. So, I started my spiritual journey yeah. on May 22nd, 2020. Okay. Okay, so if you don't know what a spiritual awakening is, it's basically when you come to real, like, reality instead of the things that you've made up in your mind and the way that you see things. You come to, like, the real reality of it and, like, the bigger picture of it. And you start feeling different and seeing things different and having different type of relationships with people. It's, like, a lot of stuff. It's, like, it's, like... Think about when you're in depression. It's like a release from depression. That is what happened, basically. I was super depressed and then more things that should have made me even more depressed happened that actually made me wake up to things and then I started becoming super happy and understanding myself better. So I wanna talk about that and I wanna put that out into the world because I think a lot of people need to talk about it and experience it. I'm okay a little bit shy. And I thought I wasn't, but I 
kind of. Y'all know when y'all was in school and y'all had to um, read out loud and stuff. Did y'all used to think about what y'all was going to read? Like, did y'all used to read it before it got to y'all so that y'all can read it out loud good? Or did y'all just start reading it and then saying the words as they come to your eyes? Comment and answer that question. Okay, we're going to wait for my brother to get back upstairs because my sister doing her hair and she's not really too aware of all of this yet. I talked to her about it, but it go in one ear and go out the other. No offense. I said no offense. Jay Sean. Oh, having a spiritual awakening makes all of like all of you change. Like your organs, like everything. It's hard to explain because it kind of sounds weird, but it makes all of your insides like feel different. Like you become super aware of everything. And if you're sensitive or if you have sensitive skin or anything, like if you have arthritis or anything, like you become way too aware of it. And it doesn't really hurt. Nothing really hurts. It just feels like something. Why are you leaving? Okay, you ready to talk about it? So, Jashan. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. You don't got to get in it, but I just want them to hear it too. So, have you ever woke up inside of your dream? Yes. And been able to control what you was doing inside your dream? Not really. You didn't get to that part yet? No. Oh. So, then how did you know that you woke up inside your dream? Because I remember my dreams. Don't you remember your dreams anyway, though? Mm, no. Most huh? people actually don't. Okay, so when you woke up into your dream, was it like... Real life like this? Like how me and you standing here? We doing oh, this? Yeah. yeah, okay. So, that's one way to know that you have a spiritual awakening or your spirit guide slash ancestors and like your higher self is trying to like communicate with you when you start getting sleep paralysis or waking up inside your dream or having vivid dreams. That's how you know like when you like getting pushed to wake up things like that happen and if it's scary if it's scary when you start to do it that means that you have shadow work to do and that means you gotta think about things that you've done in the past or been through in the past that really affect who you are today and then like if it's negatively affecting you you have to revisit that and overcome it and heal from it to become a better person to open up space for the new things that you want to put into your life He just walked like a dog that way. Wow. <laughs> Talking about some wow. Anyway. Okay, so. It's two people on here. Y'all don't have dreams? Or did y'all not hear the question that I asked? I want to know, like. Wait, what was the question that I asked? Never mind. We'll get there. We'll do that later. Okay. Uh, another thing is you're going to be writing a whole bunch of stuff down because everything that happens, is go you're going to forget it. Like, you're going to be so detached from yesterday and you're going to be like, you're going to be thinking about the stuff in the future a lot, but you're not supposed to. You're supposed to stay super present and look about what's around you. You got to look at everything that's around you. In the present moment that he's giving you. Because everything you have, you're supposed to use. That's why it says all the t tools that you ne need, you have them. Um, I don't know what to say about that part, though. You gotta play. I don't know if I want to say. Because people be asking me, like, with all of this stuff, they be like, um, 
and I talk about God and stuff. Okay. They basically ask me, am I a Christian and stuff like that. But I don't be knowing what to say because most of the people that I listen to and that um, I watch like on stuff, they call it spirituality. They just say spirituality. They don't say uh, Christianity or none of that. But I think that's the right way to do it because all of it is the same thing because all of their gods is our God because it's the same God. We just have different languages and live in different places and stuff. So it's been taught to them differently and taught to us differently. We've all been different. But we all the same and we got a God. And a higher self that is technically God. You got to really like understand this because yeah. Yeah. we live in it. So that's why it's important to meditate and stuff. What, Jay Sean? Boy. 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 Did you go come get in this camera? Say hi. I said hey. Five places. Right. Okay, come on. I'm saying hey, that's it. Okay, I just said that. No, you can stay right there too. No. Come on, hurry up. Kia or Jessica need to learn how to bust. You sure do, because it's not. Anyway. I didn't plan this before I did this, so sorry if this is um kind of like rambling, ranty. I'm putting my bracelet back on. My auntie gave me this for my birthday, and I love it. And it's okay. So today I saw. Okay, don't don't laugh, cause some people gonna be super like foolish with it and laugh, cause they gonna be like, what? But I saw 11:11 today and 12:33, but like not on the clock or anything. Well, I saw 11:11 on the clock, but not 12:33 on the clock. So no, it's not like oh, make a wish. It's like your spirit guides and your higher self are like trying to communicate with you. So get aligned with it and be present. That's what that means. That's eleven eleven. Um, and it does have to do with like stuff in the future. So that's probably why they say all oh, just make a wish, cause it's bringing your thoughts to life basically manifesting it to life just shine is bogus because we were supposed to be doing this together so now i don't know what to do because i don't got nobody to talk to because i thought this was a talking back and forth thing right. first of all you, you see you was, you like you see ask, him you was gonna ask me some questions you only asked me one question through that whole time. And then, see, now, if you was to ask me some questions, I would actually talk. So, if you was by me so I could ask you some questions, I would. No, not one I time mean, closer than that. Said, closer than that. Not one time you didn't just... We ain't gonna argue. Right, because I'm on live. Anyway, so... Come closer. So, I'm gonna ask you another question. Okay. Hmm. How often do you meditate? Not really. I really don't. To be honest, I don't. So how are you interested in this, but you really don't do it? Because I don't have enough time to do it, first of all. So do you believe in this? Yes. So you know it's real because of yes. how you've been living, right? Yes. So then if you know it's real, why wouldn't you do it? Well, Keo, are you in your share of what I said? That's not an excuse, but... It is an excuse. What? Hold on. Because I didn't have enough time to do it. Every day, all the time I was down there with Duda, them, we was outside all day. I couldn't refuse today. Moving on. Kia, are you ruthless? It's actually you. Ow. Holy oh, shit. That's why you did not have, I mean, shoot, you did not have to jump like that. Kia, tell that story. I mean, shit. Anyway. But anyway, hold on. We smart. posting this on YouTube, so it's okay that it's on live or whatever, but we talking. Okay, anyway, but you got to write down everything. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. So mine started, my spiritual awakening started on May 22nd, 2020. 
And what really happened, like, to make me be able to remember the exact day is I felt like my whole soul, like, it felt like I lifted up either out of my body or my body lifted up with it. I don't know which one because my thoughts was just going and going and going and going and I was crying because, like, everything just hit me and I was crying. And I just felt like all this release and like my soul felt like it got free. And people was in the background joking about like, oh, she's going to die. And they was laughing. I knew that I was being serious. But yeah, for a second I thought I was, I, I was like, is this what dying feels like? Because I've never felt this before. And it's intense. And like, I just felt like air. I felt like the air. It was really weird. I felt like a part of the the air. You know how like when you see smoke come out or whatever in the air and they go around and around and start disappearing and stuff like that? That's what it felt like. So Jason, have that happened to you before? <laughs> you ever felt like you was the air, like you felt your soul leave out your body? Yeah, I didn't hear what you said. What? Oh, you never felt that? You gotta talk out loud because they can't see you. No. Okay, so he said he never felt that before. But that's how I know exactly what day that it all happened on and started on because it was like nothing I ever experienced before. And then after that, my whole life changed and I felt different. People looked different. People changed. Well, no, they didn't really change. I just started peeping everything like I never peeped it before I got a burn on my hand and I don't know if I'm supposed to go to the hospital for this but in my hand ashy yeah but this is what the flat irons did to my hand it was on 430 and I can see it's like it don't hurt I can't feel nothing I can't feel nothing at all. But the hospital don't be doing nothing anyway. They don't be doing their jobs right. Okay, I'm done. Y'all funny. I'm done. Really, Naya? Yeah. That's trying to knock me. But what? Okay, so what should I? What else should I talk about? Because this one gonna be. Your story? I know. I am going to talk about my story, but I'm talking about with the spiritual awakening stuff. Cause we talk about numerology. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So, when you have your spiritual awakening or when you don't have your spiritual awakening, you're trying to look up your um, numerology and it's your birthday and your full name. And it should tell you all your numbers. And you ain't going to know what the numbers mean if you not into this and know already but you can ask somebody who know i know you can ask me um but you just get all your numbers for your life and it tell you basically your life path is going to tell you what you're doing in this life right now it's going to tell you what you was doing in the past it's going to tell you what you're supposed to be doing in the future not what you're supposed to be doing in the future but what you are going to be doing in the future because it's already set in stone except for the details so we live out the details and stuff that's what make it different for us but the the whole picture thing is stay the same so your numerology will tell you everything about your life purpose like in the path that you take okay so yeah so if you're interested in that and you don't know what the numbers mean and stuff you can ask me just tell me your numbers or tell me your birthday and your name and I can look it up and I can decipher the numbers. How many people was on here? I can't wait to get a phone so that I can just do it on my phone. Cause I can't see Sheesh. who's on here and I can't see I needed that. Myself the right way. Y'all have extra. I can't believe it's February 16th. I keep looking at everything. <laughs> Do y'all know how long it takes to edit a YouTube video that's long? It takes forever.
That's why I do not edit my videos no more. I edited my first videos, but I'm never again doing that ever again. Ever, ever. You have multiple stages of a spiritual awakening too. So my first stage or whatever that was May 22nd. But my second one wasn't too long ago. It was January 24th. That was my second one. And basically all it is is like ripping the band-aid off of the hard, honest, God, truth. However you say that. The God, honest, truth. Honest to God, truth, Kiara. <laughs> Honest to God truth, like my brother said. So, it's just like, it's that. But it's not bad. So, it's going to be bad at first. You know that saying, you got to go through the storm to get to the next part or whatever. However you say that too. But it's like that. So, you're going to go through the storms. The tower is going to fall. And the tarot cards, when you get the tower, that means all your stuff is going to be rocked and crumbled to the ground. But it's going to make something different happen. That's gonna be better, depending on how you act. Who is that? If I was taller, I'd be a supermodel. For a, well, a runway, a runway model. I love clothes. Is you coming? It's actually what you. Girl, I don't even know what to think right now. And I don't usually have a problem with that. Okay, so next, what I'm going to talk about is your horoscope. So horoscope and numerology is two different things. So your numerology tell you um your life path or whatever. But your horoscope will tell you like Things you can do to improve your life path. So it's not your, it's not the outline. It's helping you with the details that you get to make because you're in charge of, of the details. Oh my God, Naya. Y'all doing too much. Hey, y'all. I'm doing too much. I'm just playing. Uh, anyway. Dang, Shook said, yo, and I didn't see it. <coughs> Hi, brother. That was two minutes ago, kid. Oh, I thought that said 16 minutes. Oh, that's Kanita. Oh. Really? I was going to say, that was a long time. What you doing, brother? Okay, anyway, so next, what was I saying? About. Okay, so your horoscope is like your zodiac signs, which is Aries, when well, no. Yeah, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Virgo. I said Capricorn already. Libra. What else? Libra. Yes. Gemini. Gemini, and what else? Scorpio. I didn't miss one. No, I said Scorpio. Pisces? I said Pisces, too. Anyway, y'all know them ones. Them ones. There's 12 of them. Should we repeat them again? Repeat them? Yeah. Hold on. I'm trying to think, because I want to get all of them right. So I'm trying to think which one uh, to go. Libra, Scorpio. No, 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 no. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Aries? It do not have to be in order. Yeah. Taurus. That was three. That was six. Five. Never mind. We can't do this right now. Hold on. Y'all know what we talked about. It's 12 zodiac signs. They trying to say it's 13 now. I don't know. I don't know. It is trying to put a new mark. I don't know. It go with the, the whole philosophy of... um. The Jesus stuff, though, when you break it down and you really look at it, it, it go if it's 13. Because it was 12 disciples plus Jesus. So, there's 
That's 13. If you don't know what I'm talking about right there, then you ain't gonna get it. And you just might get it one day. If you um want to be into the spiritual stuff. Which everybody cancer? should because it's the real life thing Can that's happening. Cancer? Maybe. I don't think I said cancer. Oh, okay. No, I don't think I said... um. What's July? That's cancer, right? Uh -huh. July is cancers. And um, the next one, Leo. Gemini. Gemini? Oh, yeah. That's August. Gemini. You just said it. Yo, is you going up or down? Or you just... What the heck? Okay, anyway. So we just talking. Anyway, we're ranting. I did my makeup today. A little bit. I don't got no eyelashes on though. My eyelashes is kind of long though, but you can't tell. What? Are you talking about your story yet? No, I'm going to talk about my story at the end, Jay Sean. Why? You want to talk about my story too? I don't know. I mean, you did say it. So I didn't show it to you yet? Just because you show it to me, I don't mean I don't know nothing about it. I mean, I know something about it. I just know what you've been on. Exactly. That's all you mm -hmm. need to know. I don't know the website name. Oh. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so he, my brother told me to talk about my story. So I'm going to do that. But then after that, we go talk about something different. That's spiritual. Um. So I made a story on... I forgot what I was going to say. So I made a story and it's called Aqua Astrology. Because I realized, like, once you have a spiritual awakening, I'm going to go back. Once you have a spiritual awakening, you realize that all this corporate stuff is, like, modern day slavery type stuff. Because you're not really free when you're doing it like that. But a lot of people don't like people saying that because then they feel some type of way. But I'm just telling the truth. That is what it is. So... Getting your own business and doing your own thing is the right way. Same way they did it, you do it too. I'm pretty sure everybody think that McDonald's need to go. Except for the cheap people that always be on there. But. Burger King. Burger King. I was like, Burger King can go at first before I even said McDonald's can go. But then I ate a Whopper one day. And it was good. So I like it. And this McDonald's here, I don't like it. So, now McDonald's can go. Even though all of them really do need to go and people need to eat healthy. But that's a different that's a different topic. We could talk about that on a different video. So, my store is called Aqua Astrology and I made it like a month ago, almost a month ago. So, I think on the 21st. Dang. I ain't do that. Don't blame me on me. The only thing that's real is this. You did what? do it. Anyway, so it's called Aqua Astrology. Stop! No, his name was Wiggly. I thought this was. Okay, I can't wait to be in the professional, like everything. Okay? Yes, sir, you can see this. Because people don't be respectful. Anyway. What? You're not? Huh? I am Now you in it. Now you in it. Turn around. Okay. Whoa. Jason, you was something else. Okay, anyway, so my store is called Aqua Astrology. And there's tarot cards on there. There's crystal um, art. There's wall tapestry. And it's basically, it's like, it's basically like a spiritual store. Now a bunch of loud people finna come in. But. Should you tell them that? I'm on live. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, so my store is basically like a metaphysical store. I want a real metaphysical store. I can't even see. Yeah, that's mom doing. Oh. Hey, mom. Hi. I'm on live. <laughs> Did you get me something? Hell no. Okay, so anyway, so. I want a real metaphysical store because I want like to see everything and I want to be the boss of it and be there and stuff. 
But I'm gonna just do it online right now because of COVID, of course. So I did it on Shopify. But once it starts and like it get running and stuff, then I'm gonna take it and it's gonna be mine. I'm gonna do the whole like own it thing, even though I own it, but I wanna own the whole domain and everything for it. But basically, I'm just selling like witchy type of stuff. Not witchy in a bad way, cause people be thinking that stuff bad. Now some people be doing it bad. I ain't gonna lie, and I think it's more like the weird church people that be lying about what they really be doing. But we ain't gonna speak about that on this video either. We're gonna do that on a different video. Um, but basically, it's like anything you might need when you get into your spiritual stuff. Except for I ain't gonna lie. Uh, there's no um, there's no incense and stuff like that on there. Even though to me, I don't think you need that all that extra stuff. I think everything is in your mind and stuff. And nature, your mind and nature. So I don't think the other stuff is right. Because it's too ritual for me. I don't like that. Smell strong up here. I'm on lies. Did, did nobody rinse the dishes? Yeah. You mean you fed to? So y'all rinse the dishes and just left them in the sink like I have. Yeah, Jay Sean, really? You was the one that rinsed them. And I told you to put them in the thing. So I probably did say all of them. You saw that? Huh? You saw me flick you off the bed. You flicked me off? Mm -hmm. Really, Mom? Okay. Stop. Y'all, my brother living a good good dream. He in college. Your brother what? Not your Jason. Oh. Mom. What? <laughs> they just heard you. Okay, but yeah, so them, the Zodiac signs right there. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Where I was at. But anyway, so I just want to own my own metaphysical store. Because now I understand, like, that this whole thing, like, my whole spiritual awakening and everything, um... What? You don't like it, Shug? I can understand probably why not. Because it's probably like not free enough. Like, like free. free. Freedom. That's how I feel. That's why I didn't go yet. And I was like, let me just take a gap year. Now I want to take another gap year. I mean, because I don't want to be on the line. I'll give consent to my record my face. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah. Can you do it? Do what? Throw some water. Yeah, can you tell after that? Just go in there, Brian. Girl, you don't tell them. Go home. Telling people to go somewhere else. Yeah. He just told me to I, go somewhere else. And, and, if, I'm, and what I say? Nothing. Exactly. So why you have to say something? That, that's how shit gets started right there. Anyway, I started a store. And I want to become a billionaire. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting off of this car. Thank you for watching. I think should be the last one. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Uh, I'm finna text you, should, but I'm getting off this live.